I didn't want nobody to invest in me because I knew well enough that if you get someone to invest in you, you kind of have to do what they say. I mean, after all, I created my own business so I could have the freedom to create what I want to create. You know, an artist might be great painting what he or she absolutely loves, but if they take money from an investor, the investor might say, hey, look, uh, bills ain't getting paid here. You need to start doing cartoons or something. You know, I don't know. I thought an investor would say, hey, your countertops ain't working. Let's get in the roof. And meanwhile, I start my whole business and that's what happened. But it's not. It's a GPS. If you don't know where you're going and you don't want to keep stopping at every place to ask where directions are, you set it on a GPS and you can guide where you're going. That's all it is. It keeps track of it. And even if you're in business and realize you were like me and now you just heard this and said, wow, I better get one. They have existing business plan templates that you can follow. They have quick ones or I like the you know classic one now, the traditional. I like to have too much information. I don't like to try to remember things. I like my brain clear because I'm a creative. I like to do things that I haven't seen before. I like to try things I haven't done before. I like to be challenged. I'm not the best at what I do. I'm probably in the top 500, I would think, of countertops in the world, I think. If not, that's okay. I'm so happy today being who I am. I don't want to be anybody else. For a long time, I always wanted to be somebody else or be the best or be better than anybody. Mr. Gene's shop talk was simply created just to give back because so many people helped me. So many people gave me their time for freely. They spent time doing workshops. They talked to me. They showed me what to watch out for. With technology today, I'm going to do it this way. I just created this to help educate you, perhaps inspire you, but mainly train your mind to beware of some things that I should have did better in business and better in my life. In my business, I should have prepared a business plan and keep it up to date. I needed to know, am I making money? Is this really a business? Or is this just a hobby shop? Or did I just create myself a job? And then everyone else I hire makes more money than me. I left a good job making good money to make less money and work more hours. Because that's what it's like when you start a business. I don't know where you're at in your life. Are you at that job and like, you know, I want to show the world my craft. Keep in mind that little, like, uh, purgatory or window part between leaving your job and starting a business is very vital. I really want to talk about that. That little window, that's when you should be learning. You should be practicing your craft. Don't practice your craft at the job you're thinking of leaving. They got workbenches, they got tools. Do you got that? They got space, do you got that? They got a truck to help you install your craft. Do you got that? Take all these things down, write them down. Get rough costs, it doesn't have to be to the penny, but you should know, okay, if I'm paying a building 2,500 a month, okay, how are you gonna, justify the rent but wait there's more yes you have other costs you've got insurance you got corporation you got taxes right down to having fire extinguishers in your shop there's so many things to run in this business and because I was so good at my craft for some reason I thought I was great at business I really did I mean after all I used to shovel snow as a kid. Oh yeah, and while all my friends were shoveling sidewalks and people, you know, I guess they were retired in the neighborhood, I guess, you know, they'd pay them like $10 a pop. 
But I was smart. I knew the people that had to go to work in the morning after the snow plows literally buried their cars. I just hang out right over there and I was able to get at least 20 to $40 a pop. That was smart. From there on in, I knew how to run a business. Of course, I didn't have to do all the preparation you do when you get income and profit and losses and all that, but that, that's how I considered it. But I didn't back then. I didn't have a business plan as a kid. Why? But with this business plan, keep it up to date. You're really gonna learn to enjoy it. Understand that thoughtless enthusiasm. I don't know if you had it. I just had it like like a rash. Thoughtless enthusiasm may cause us some problems in our business and our lives. It was strongly suggested to me early on in business by some very dear friends of mine. I even call them family. Bob and Lawrence. Bob said to me, pretty much I want to say nine out of ten times he talked to me because when he talked to me when I was running my business it seemed like everything was on fire and I was asking him how to put it out and he always followed up by saying do you have a business plan no is there another way I was trying every other way but the way that you may present this do know that it's still very nice to put it down in writing and put it there so they can see it all I mean we're talking that could be a very... Can we upgrade it just by taking pictures of the awards or something to throw into a business plan? Is that... I know that's never been done before, but just to help, is that... Well, it would not be bad if you had a page of... The uh, awards. The little awards, you know, yeah, 17 that awards, there. or whatever it is. Exit, and, dates. And perhaps uh, the, the title of the magazines... Uh, that you get, that you've been featured in, and um, and 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 even in the appendix, we could put a copy of several of the articles that you find to be very uh, good and dynamic. We could we could add that to the business plan. Just just uh, we could say you know see exhibit twelve, which will be a copy of the article in XYZ magazine. And the current time, okay, I understand. And then also what I did was I made a video resume of what we are. Okay. With right. He was showing me the path. Lawrence, however, was able to spot even something obviously more glaring than Bob was because he's like, ah, before the business plan, I think you should try a business course. I was actually offended at that. I'm like, nope. Because I remember when I was in high school and regular school and the teacher would go, okay, tonight we got homework on algebra. Huh? I worked all day. What do you mean I got to go home and do work? I got this. That's what I said to these guys that were just trying to help me. Bob would always say business plan. Lawrence, however, he's like, I think you need a little more work before business plan. Uh, and I don't know how he was able to see that. When I was running around, pulling my hair out of my head, what do I do, what do I do? Pretty profound, he was able to say, you need a little more help than just a business plan. He suggested business courses. To me, I felt the same pain in my stomach when the teacher at school told me I have to do homework on algebra. <sighs> I, I didn't want that feeling because if someone said, can you make me a concrete countertop with sea glass chips all through it? I didn't have that gut-wrenching feeling in my stomach. Know why? Because I love that. There are some things you're going to have to do so you can continue to do what you love. Even if you're in a relationship, you have to do some things to keep that thing going. It's the same thing. But I was like, nah, business course is what? Probably $1,500 or $2,000 and a bunch of book work. Nah, I got this. I got this. That's what I said to these kind people, friends, basically friends slash family, I felt. They were just helping me for nothing. But to prepare a business plan, I kept thinking for some reason it would be a week. Yeah. When you're dumb and you don't know any better, everything takes a week. It's just weird. Just a week. I don't know. But even if it was two weeks, done correctly. Bye.
Bob would have even given, given me his time to help me and wouldn't have charged me. He would have just liked to see me stop pulling the hair out of my head or bothered him on the phone. Who knows? He never told me, but I know now and I just couldn't listen. So weird. I don't know if you're like that. I don't mean to get all tapping into your mind or your feelings and all that. This is just telling you what's up. But I couldn't even do that. I was actually offended that I would even need one based on my big old business experience. You know, after all, I shoveled snow as a kid. On some pictures of work and TV shows I put on there. But we that's fine for the that's fine for your, your website, but we want to incorporate some of that into your business plan. So the custom a little yeah, a little I mean not not a big but a little here's what some prominent people have said, etc. blah 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 blah. Uh, and people that will be recognized. Okay. Now we want to we want to talk about your training. You've been to school for Corian. You've been to school for whom? You've been to school for this one. You've been to school for that one. You have been certified by X, Y, Z, M, P, and R. All right? Okay. Because you are the company. Let's face it. You are the company. So we want to emphasize you in a manner that shows that you not only are a charming, handsome, bleh, bleh, bleh person, but you're also a skilled craftsman, all right? That has been featured in movies, been featured in blood, been featured. Blah, blah. You got my point. Yeah. All right. Foundation of the corporation. Corporation will be one another paragraph. Corporation. We incorporated in uh, whenever, whatever, whatever year it is. You know, that was my business experience. And then once in a while for the fruit man, I'd paint a sign. I liked doing artwork, you know, before graphics and all that came out. I'd paint like Bob's Tomatoes and Old Man Joe. Not, nothing to say I was in business. Lawrence strongly suggested business school or a course. I think at the time, public business courses may have been $2,000 a semester. I I'm not sure, but like I said, I know it wasn't free. Even if it was, that means there's more knowledge, there's more time, maybe it's a, at an inconvenient time. If you don't pay, you're probably gonna have to go during a work week, so it still really cost, would it have cost me. I'm sure I could have found cheaper if I would have even tried. I didn't even try. To prepare a business plan, I think, and you know what? My best thinking got me into this trouble, so it's kind of weird how I thought it wouldn't help. I didn't even try it, but I still thought it wouldn't help. How whacked is that? It might have taken me a week, just a week. Now I know I could do it in a week as long as I have the time, but I really like to be accurate. I think I was also concerned about the business plan thinking it's just something new entrepreneurs create so they could quick show to an investor to try to get money to help their successful business or idea, whatever it is. And I remember not wanting that. Of course, I wanted the money, but I didn't want somebody else telling me how to run my business or else why quit my job? I'm already in that world. If I can't do what I want to do, I do it. Just stay working for somebody and blah, 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 and do some side jobs on Saturday. But I didn't. I wanted to get out there. And I wanted to run a successful business. And I realized a little too late that just being good at your craft and then developing that ego doesn't automatically override the business. Because I wanted to know my numbers. Like today, oh, I am a fanatic. I love business plans. Do you know more people will spend time preparing to go on vacation? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They will actually know what hotel they're staying at. They'll arrange to have their Ubers 
pick them up precisely at the time when the flight's coming. They, some of them actually are able to set reservations across the ocean at a restaurant. They're not even there yet at the time. And if I ask these same people, you got a business plan for your business? No, I got this. Isn't that strange? Something that you're going to be involved in at least 17 to 18 hours a day, whether you're working or not, it's always on your mind and you won't get a plan. But just to go away for a week or two, you'll plan like crazy. Watch out for that because that's what I had. This class, I was so defiant to do, I think would have probably cost me $1,500. I, I just don't know. Obviously, I don't know because I didn't go. I learned the hard way. Yeah, I'm not paying $1,500 for a week class. Sad, but true, and now kind of ridiculously funny. I probably would have saved over $300,000 had I went to that $1,500 business class. When I add up everything, I'm not talking about profits and loss and just all the costs, the mistakes, the overlooking, the not knowing what it is you need to know. But I don't know what kind of business you're going to run. I don't know if you're going to get a shop. You might just get a truck and do installation. You might be an artist, just work out in your house. Uh, you... I have no idea. I'm just telling you my experience and hopefully through this next series I'm going to put out, it's going to be just focused on business. Most importantly, I just want you to be better. So many people helped me. So many people helped me that for some reason when I was in pain, I was able to hear the voice they told me five years sooner. I don't know why I didn't listen. Doesn't move by the light at the end of the tunnel. I only move by the fire under my ass. And I had to squash that shit. Because I don't want to live like that no more. I want to be happy. I want to be better. I don't want to be better than anybody. I want to be better than me. I want to be better than who I was yesterday, yesteryear. Just, I want to be better. I want to smile. I want to be happy. Do you? Do you want your customers happy when they see your craft? I was actually offended when Lawrence and Bob suggested, you know, because I was so busy showing, look what I can make. Look what I can make. Look at this countertop. It lights up. Look at this. I could put seashells in the countertop. How much does it cost? Uh, I don't know. What do you want? Uh... In my head, I was just charging them whatever the rent or the bill that was due. But that's how I did business. I'm not even embarrassed that I did. I made mistakes. But at least I tried. And uh, Then we want to talk about, we want to talk about um, where you get your business. Will be another paragraph. Uh, and that, where you get your business will include uh, some prominent uh, interior designers, uh, people that have people that have ordered those things from Texas. Uh, uh, those tables from Texas, remember? Yeah, yeah I'm sure you do. And we want to also we want to feature that wonderful bar out there in at uh, the Marriott Hill Hill whatever in the Hill Marriott yeah, by Hill. Hill. Yeah, Hill. Okay. I think we had breakers too. Okay. The breakers. And the breakers. All right. We wanted we want to emphasize these are some of your clients that you have that you have uh, recently done business with. So now I got business experience. It just I should have followed a path and not went through and made my own path without a lawnmower. I just was walking through the weeds and everything and that's my story. But maybe you would end up that had you not listened to me. Go ahead. Shout it from the rooftops. I don't want to run a business like Gene did. <laughs> and I agree with you. All I got to do is tell you what I did and do the exact opposite. Boss, you will be fine. <laughs> just just uh, get with it. Okay?